An Egyptian court dismissed a murder charge against ousted President Hosni Mubarak over the deaths of protesters during a 2011 uprising that ended his three-decade-long rule. Mubarak had been previously sentenced to life in prison in 2012 for conspiring to murder the demonstrators, but an appeals court ordered a retrial. Mubarak was also acquitted of a corruption charge. Seven of his security commanders, including the former Interior Minister Habib al Adle, were also acquitted over the demonstrator deaths. Mubarak's overthrow led to Egypt's first free election, but the winner, Mohamed Morsi, was ousted last year by the army. The release of some Mubarak-era figures since then and a series of laws curtailing political freedoms has raised fears among activists that the progress achieved through the 2011 uprising are being lost. With this ruling, activists and family members of those killed in the uprising are left seeking justice. There is no honesty in the judiciary of Egypt. We don't have any with this man being acquitted. So who killed these people? No one was killed on the 25th? Who killed them? Mexican Interior Secretary Miguel Angel Chong announced that the government will release without charge a group of students that were arrested by police in the rallies held to demand the safe return of the 43 missing students from Ayotzinapa. Chong said they would be released because of a lack of evidence, though he did not say how many would be released. The 11 arrested students faced charges of attempted homicide and incitement of a riot, amongst others. The students were denied bail and were transferred to high security prisons. They claimed they suffered abuse and torture at the hands of the police. Mexican officials have come under heavy criticism for the actions of police the night of November 20th. Police are accused of using heavy-handed tactics and making arbitrary arrests. Uruguayans will head to the polls for a second round of presidential elections on Sunday. Polls indicate a comfortable victory for Tabare Vasquez, presidential candidate for the leftist Broad Front Party. The party is seeking its third consecutive mandate, as the constitution prevents the very popular current president, Jose Mujica, from seeking re-election. The governments of the Broad Front have implemented some of the world's most progressive reforms, most famously becoming South America's first country to legalize same-sex marriage, including allowing gay couples to adopt to decriminalize abortion and, most notoriously, to legalize marijuana. They have also dramatically increased social spending and have reduced poverty and inequality in the country. Vasquez is facing off against Luis Lacalle, candidate of the right-wing National Party and son of a former president. Voters cast ballots in the first round on October 26, but no candidate was able to secure enough votes to avoid a runoff. The broad front was able to secure a majority in the Congress in the first round of elections. Retail giant Walmart faced its largest ever protest this past Friday as employees and activists brought attention to the retailer's poor labor practices. Walmart employees earn around $8.40 an hour, which critics say does not constitute a living wage. Walmart workers often struggle to provide food, health care, and housing for themselves and their families. Protests were organized to coincide with Black Friday, the biggest shopping day of the year in the United States. Last year, shoppers spent a total of $57.4 billion on Black Friday. Protests were organized by union-backed Our Walmart, which pursues its agenda of better wages through public shaming of the company. Last night, criminals intent on lawless, lawlessness and destruction terrorized this community. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon called for increased funding for the state's National Guard in the face of rising costs associated with the heavy police and military deployment in response to rallies in Ferguson. The St. Louis suburb has been the site of large protests after a grand jury, in a highly criticized process, decided not to indict white police officer Darren Wilson in the shooting death of black teenager Michael Brown on August 9th of this year. The police and National Guard have opted to crack down on protesters who argue that the killing of Brown is indicative of a broader social problem, where the lives of black men and women are routinely disregarded. Organizers also held protests in shopping centers on Black Friday, calling for a boycott of the largest shopping day in the United States. Suena Caracas puts forward a new vision of the city, a citizen reappropriation of public spaces, for the transformation of those spaces into communal spaces. Salsa brings together all Afro-Caribbean genres. Okay, call it bolero, guaracha, danzón, or the cha-cha-cha. And here in Venezuela, 
is where the real good salsa is being made. Salsa de la buena. This was a space that was totally abandoned and the capital government renovated it. Now look at it, it's better than the National Palace. Facts that have marked the course of history. Productions designed in the English language and made for the English-speaking world. This is Documentary. Watch it on telesur.net slash English. Tell us, sir, wherever the news, you'll be there.